Good morning, YouTube. Your man George Pays coming to you live, live on YouTube. Uh, I saw this news, and this is kind of disappointing to me. And I think it's it's a good example how some how some ways that even though you know you know racial equality is fair, it, you know it should be you know seen as an equal thing, but when you fix certain things, it can be. Uh, I'm one of these people like I'm just. I'm I'm a big TV fan. I like to watch TV. I love good shows. I like The Family Guy. Family Guy is a great show. It's been around for pretty much about 20 years. It's funny. It's just some different. And um, one of the characters that I like on there is Cleveland Brown. I like Cleveland. Like Peter, Quagmire. Not much about Joe, but uh, I like the character Cleveland. And the actor who, who voices his name is Mike Kieran. Mike Kieran is a white guy. And a lot of people didn't find out that he was a a white guy until you know. I think he you know. I think he did some interviews here and there, and he did the voice in, in public. But his, 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 his voice of Cleveland has been known for years. And he's also, he, you know, Cleveland had a show for a short time. Uh, you know, I, I know it was short-lived, but it was a good show. It was kind of funny. But he tried to make Cleveland too much like Peter. But, you know, that was the only way he couldn't do it because the fact was Cleveland is his character not as uh, interesting. Um, he's on Family Guy. But anyway, um, Mike um, Henry, doing the whole protest of Black Lives Matters and, and racial equality, decided to step down from the character of Cleveland Brown and saying that a black actor should voice it. Man, there's nobody can replace him. I don't, you know, you can't replace that voice. It's like, it's like um, if, uh, you know, the actor, the actress used to voice Tweety Bird, said, you know what, you know, you need Bird to voice the voice of Tweety Bird. It's just like, you know, or if, um, if it was a black, is a white guy voice, you know, Samuel Sam, you know, he, he said, you know, maybe a white guy's voice is Samuel Sam. It's just, no, I understand what you're saying. You want to support Black Lives Matter, but at the same time, <sighs> it shouldn't just, this is, you've been this character for 20 years. And I mean, and, and a lot of people are not as, you know, the thing is, is that it's, it's, it's got over, you know, it's getting over to a point that, you know, it's one thing when it's about, Justice and about law and other things, but entertainment's different. I know, no, yes, there's, there's been a, some racial history with entertainment. How, as we all know, how blacks were not able to go to award shows like um, the lady who won the, for Mammy on um, the uh, on Gone to Win. She was allowed to go pick up her own award. And that's the sad part about it. And we know a few years ago there was that whitewash situation where you had that movie of. Uh, Gods and Kings, where you had Christian Bale playing uh, Moses, and um, that other movie was the one about the Egyptians. We had a, uh, you know, dude, you know, we had a guy who played Jimmy Lannister from um, uh, from Game of Thrones playing a, 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 a Egyptian god along with Jared Butler. I, yes, that was right there. Was those it was issues? But then this is only a cartoon. Also. Another actor, Hank Azaria. Hank Azaria, you might, you might know him from The Simpsons. He does Mo Sislak, a couple other characters, but he also does the voice of Apu, the um, guy who runs the uh, the Quickie Mart. And he decides to step out as Apu, say that it should be an Indian actor to play the voice of Indian character. But he has played that character for practically 30 years. You know, and you know, maybe, you know, some people might hate me for saying this, but you know, sometimes when you had the right actor for the right role, let him play that role. You know, I mean, and especially if it's not, you know, it's just cartoons. And the thing is, you know, cartoons are just like, like, like what I heard, like now that because of you know, gun control, they take away the guns from Emma Fudd and your Simon Sam. That's gotten stupid. That's got ridiculous. You know, they, they're not gonna do it with the, with the old classics because you know there's no point in doing that. Those classics have been around for for years. You know, for years. But you know, making new um, Looney Tunes and decided, well, oh, we're gonna take away the guns from your Simi Sam and Old Foot, and gonna give them bombs, knives, and scythes. Okay, so you want to take guns away from, them, but you're gonna give them bombs and knives, sharp objects, and things that explode. That don't make a damn bit of sense to me. Those that's been those characters thing. You know, you, you all know that. You know, Emma Ford always chasing after Bugs Bunny, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. He shoots the gun. Most of the time, he don't even hit Bugs. More, more often, the, the gun just blows in his face. You know, Simi Sam, most of the time, when he has his guns, you know, he's shooting the ground. And, you know, he's like, you know, he's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. he's like coming up, like, he grew a little taller. I mean, yes, I, you know, we should be worried about weapons, but here we think. You take guns away from cartoon characters, but still have guns on TV shows. 
cop shows, you know, action movies, you're not really helping the problem that much. And also, this is the thing is, you still have guns on news. Like the whole thing with George Floyd. People try to take violence out of, out of, um, t- out of television. But then you had a, a live video of a man being murdered and it's streamed all over everywhere. Uh, like I said, I remember a few years ago, like um, around the uh, start of the Gulf War, the second Gulf War, when they killed the son of Saddam Hussein, and they plastered the dead bodies on national television. But then, when uh, a, photo- a photographer took pictures of soldiers' dead bodies coming home, that man was called a traitor. Wait a minute. You want to show two men's dead bodies. Their dead bodies on television, but then a man show pictures of what is this, what happens because of war. You got to remember, people go to war, people die. He's not a traitor. He's showing the truth. You just can't have one thing. That's the thing with propaganda. Propaganda. People want to say one side of the story, but don't want to tell the other, especially if they're the ones on that other side of the story. It's easy to show the dead bodies are enemies, but you don't want to see the dead bodies of your allies. That don't never make sense. But to me, um, Mike Henry, I understand what he's doing. He's trying to be a stand-up dude, but man, come on. You know, I think there's a lot of people in Black, Black, Black Lives Matter who probably say, like, you know, you should stay in Cleveland. <laughs> don't be surprised how some people would say, like, you know, man, don't do this. I mean, I understand what you're doing, but, you know, don't, this is just like, don't try to, it's just one little thing. It's not that really that important, you know. Sometimes it's the bigger thing that's important. Don't, you know, let's leave some things alone. Now, we were talking about the thing about, um, where they knock down Confederate um, statues. Yes, those should be knocked down. The fact was, those guys were traded to the United States. The United States was one country, and they decided they didn't want to be part of that one country. Yes, those statues should be, tra- should be turned down. Yes, those schools named after General Lee should, should be um, stripped. I just heard in the news that David Lee Roth, you know, used to be the front man from um, um, Van Halen, said he wanted to drop his name Lee. Well, Bruce Lee is Bruce, you know, Lee is a common name. Look at Bruce Lee, you know. I know, I know there's a story that people that don't want to be called Adolf or Hitler because that's a you know, name, but a name like Lee, that's, that's very common. You know, how many Bruce Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, Bruce Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis, and, uh, who's it, uh, Lee Daniels, I mean, come on, you know, uh, Jet Lee, but you know, you can change it, you can drop the E and make it, I, make it L-I. You know, sometimes I think people overdo things too much. They, they overdo a lot of this trying to be sensitive. I'm person who believes in, in you know, fairness and trade and rights. Everybody has their own rights, but sometimes don't overboard it. Don't try to overdo it just to prove that, hey, I'm one of the good guys. You know, it's just crazy. But like I said, the show's not going to be the same. They might just kill off Cleaver. I mean, it's not that they had done before. Like, you know, they killed uh, Mort's wife. They killed um, Diane, who used to be on the... Uh, with, with Tom Tucker, they killed off Peter's dad, you know. We, his mom was killed because Phyllis Diller, the voice actress who played it, died. You know, they killed off the mayor because, you know, um, uh, Adam West died on the series. Um, and also, uh, Jim, um, uh, Carrie Fisher's character, who played Peter's boss, um, di- uh, was it Angela? She, she died. And they killed off Mr. Wheat, who was Peter's other boss. But, you know... But it's the actor who still played that, who played Mr. Wheat, is still on there, who voices the other characters. But Mike Brown, he also breaks that guy that go, go, oh no, he does him too. And it's going to be strange, you'll be hearing his voice and you're thinking, that's Cleveland, man, just come back and play Cleveland. I understand what you're doing, you're trying to be a stand-up guy, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. And I think a lot of people, Black Lives Matter, a lot of post testers, they feel like, man, I ain't going to be ashamed. It, it, it doesn't matter who you put in the place of of um of Cleveland. It's not Cleveland. So you know, you might just kill Cleveland off. That's just the best way to do it. And even you might clear you might have also killed uh Cleveland Jr. because I think the, he also voices him too. You know. So you might kill both Cleveland and Cleveland Jr. Let him go to heaven with Loretta. He's a man George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.